Consent for kids. This is you. Okay, it doesn't look exactly like you, but let's say it's you. This is your body, and you get to decide what you do with your body. No one else is entitled to tell you what to do with your body. Not your friends, not strangers, not adults you know. No one is entitled to decide what you do with your body. Except you. That's called bodily autonomy, by the way. And that's what consent is all about. Everyone is different. Some people love to hug. And some people hate hugs. And each person gets to decide what they're comfortable with. Can a hug-loving person just start hugging someone at random? Nope. They need consent. How do people know if they have consent? They ask. Would you like a hug? Yes, I would. Can I hold your hand? I'd rather not. Okay. If a person doesn't say yes... Can I hug you? Um, I, uh... Then they haven't given their consent. It's really pretty simple. Ask for consent. Listen to the answer. By the way, if a person bribes someone or threatens someone to say yes, that's not consent. Sometimes adults will try to tell a kid what to do with their body. Go kiss Aunt Doris goodbye. But the kid still gets to decide. No thanks, that makes me uncomfortable. I'll just wave goodbye. Some things kids can't consent to. They can't enter into legal contracts. They can't vote. And they can't consent to sexual stuff, because they're kids. So if an adult does something that kids can't consent to, that's not okay. The adult is wrong, and it's not the kid's fault. And that's when it's most important to tell a trusted adult, like a teacher. Why? Because it's your body. And no one else is entitled to tell you what to do with it. Practice consent.